Welcome to the Amtec Group YouTube channel. We are going to have a look at the ProDesign Revit plugin which will allow you to import and export electrical systems data between Revit and ProDesign. Create content rich Amtec standard BS7671 panel schedules containing the imported ProDesign data and we're going to look at producing a drawing sheet with a ProDesign schematic, ProDesign circuit diagram and the Revit panel schedule. As you can see here we have a standard Revit model with electrical systems and here on the main room lighting feed you will see several boards associated to that system. If we select circuit 1 you will see the standard default Revit properties which do not comply to BS7671 wiring regulation and also you will see here there are no other parameters containing electrical data. In order to export an electrical system to ProDesign, all we need to do is go to the Add-in section and select Export to ProDesign from the Amtec ProDesign plugin. Upon selecting Export, you will be presented with a dialog that identifies all of the electrical systems within the model. All you need to do then is select the relevant system and it will be illustrated on the right hand side. The export dialog is extremely useful as it not only allows you to view the selected system but it will also give you an expanded view of all associated boards and circuits. The export dialog would also automatically check the connectivity of all the electrical elements within the model and notify you if there are any issues such as disconnected systems. This in time will assist the user to create more accurate electrical systems within the model. Upon selecting export, you will be reminded that there are errors within the model, but you will still be able to export the relevant system to ProDesign. You will automatically be prompted to save a copy of the export file to a default location, and once saved, you will be notified that the export has been completed successfully. It is as simple as that. Create a blank project within ProDesign and then select Autodesk Revit from the file menu and then import from Revit. Upon selection of the relevant Revit export, ProDesign will also save a copy of the imported project file. And when saved, you will be notified that the project has been successfully imported to ProDesign. You will now see that ProDesign has interpreted all the information taken from the export file and automatically created a schematic that is representative to the exported system. We then drag the model to a suitable location within the design view. Due to Revit not having the capabilities to apply a source to the electrical system, this will need to be added within ProDesign and will allow you to accurately calculate the project. If we select cable 1 which is being fed from the main room lighting feed to DBMRL we will be able to view the cable properties and in here you will see that there is no cable name that has been assigned so we will now call this cable name feed to DBMR1 we would also change the length of the cable from 0.7 meters to 10 meters before the project can be exported back to Revit it must be calculated. ProDesign has a powerful calculation engine that ensures all of the information entered within the project complies to the BS7671 wiring regulations and where there are errors and warnings ProDesign will notify you. When the project is completed and ready to be returned back to Revit you will need to select return design to Revit from the Autodesk Revit option on the file menu. You will now be notified that the export from ProDesign to Revit has been successfully completed. To import the updated system information you will need to select import from ProDesign from the Amtec ProDesign plugin on the add-in section. Once the correct import file has been selected, the ProDesign import dialog will automatically open. This will inform you how many cables, boards and systems were identified and quite uniquely give you an illustrated view of the associated ProDesign schematic 
which can then be expanded upon. Once again you will see details of all unconnected elements within the project but this will not affect the import. Now that the project has been successfully imported back into Revit we are going to review cable 1 which is being fed from the main room lighting feed. You will see that all of the standard Revit parameters have remained unchanged but now when you scroll down to the other section you will see that all the information from ProDesign has been exported. ProDesign exports over 120 parameters per circuit into Revit and you will now see that the cable name that we edited within ProDesign and the cable length of 10 meters from 0.7 has now been imported successfully and all of these parameters will now remain part of this model. Now that you have all this great information exported from ProDesign you may be wondering what use it has. Well the first thing we're going to have a look at are the panel schedules. As you already know the standard Revit schedules are not designed to the current UK standards so we have created an Amtec standard BS7671 compliance schedule and as you can see when we select meeting room 1 all of the information from ProDesign has been automatically entered. The Amtec customized panel schedule contains company name and logo as standard and as you will see all of the fields have been fully customized to accommodate the imported ProDesign parameters resulting in a simple clear and accurate panel schedule. Users of Revit will understand how frustrating and time consuming it is to gather all the information required to complete accurate panel schedules and will immediately see the benefit of the Amtec ProDesign plugin which will without doubt save organizations days even man weeks on each and every project. The last thing we're going to have a look at today is how we can extract all the information that we've gathered from both ProDesign and Revit within the panel schedules and present a professional, well presented drawing sheet. By selecting my Amtec drawing sheet, I will simply drag over the panel schedule from meeting room 1. In addition to this, I am going to insert two images that I've created through ProDesign. The first thing I'm going to do is select insert an image and this will take me to my image library from ProDesign. I will now select my ProDesign schematic and locate it within the drawing sheet. Once I have that located to a satisfactory size and location I will then go back and insert another image which is my circuit diagram. And as you will see, once I have positioned this to a suitable size and location, you will now see that there is a professional, well presented drawing sheet containing the ProDesign schematic, the ProDesign circuit diagram and the Revit panel schedule with all the information taken from ProDesign. As you can see, the entire process is slick and seamless and more than anything else it is a massive time saver removing the potential for human error increasing efficiency thank you for watching the ProDesign Revit video for further information please contact Amtec